Hello, my name is Samuel Biondolo, and this is the second module. We're going to be talking about uh, scenic design. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make uh, our theater space. Right now, we're going to do a little bit of masking and that sort of thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the room itself. Um, how I'm going to do that is just to make another rectangle. We're going to assume that this is uh, just a room that we're making a theater in. Um, so I'm going to make a room. It's about... Yeah, let's call it 70 by 80. Oh, that's done. 70 by 80. And I'm using the tab function to input those numbers. Um, and now you're saying, oh my goodness, what's happened? Um, well, I've forgotten to put this on the proper layer. So if I put this on the floor layer, which we talked about earlier, now it's going to be in the right um the right uh, height there. Um, we also want to put this, uh, it's in the same layer, but we want to have it on top of it, so we're going to set the front. Great, so this is now going to be our room that we have our stage. I'm going to get rid of dimension lines from the stage for right now. Um, great, so this is going to be our room. I'm going to make a line through the room so that we have a center point. That way I can take this and align it with the center point there. So I put our stage in the room. Uh, it looks like right now we have enough space. We might want to make this any bigger. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make this uh, 80 by 80. Let's just make it a rectangle or a square. Um, great. Okay, so we've now put our stage in the room. And again, this is five feet up in the air and our uh, booth in the back of house, which I'm going to also align with the center of the page. Right there, great. And we'll put our console on. Great, so this is our nice little theater space that we've made here. Okay, then this is gonna wanna be more like three feet in the air. Great, so now we have a room. Let's make uh, the walls outside the room. Okay, so this we're gonna do with uh, rectangles as well. Um, okay, and we're also gonna make, so right now we have some conflicting, you know, the, the floor and all that. So we're actually gonna make this a, a none. So it's just an outline of the room uh, that we want to make. We're going to make it a little bit thicker. Um, we're actually going to get rid of this in a minute, but I'll show you um, what we're going to do here. Uh, so now uh, to do the 2D version of this, we're just going to take a rectangle and we're just going to make our wall. So each wall, uh, let's make it uh, two feet thick on the outside um, and actually let's do the other side Ooh, hello so all I'm doing right now is just making the walls and we're going to add some doors and stuff later but for right now we're just going to make it a normal oops, that's not what I want oh I got it the wrong thing there we go okay great so now we have our Walls. And again, um, right now there's no entrance or exit to this theater, uh, but we will um, we'll fix that uh, a little bit later. Um, this only has about four feet, so I'm actually going to move this uh, down. The way we're going to do that is I'm going to highlight it, make Command M, and then I can change things either X or Y uh, using the move selection. So. Um, in this case, we want to do a Y movement, minus one foot, and now there should be a little bit more room 
there uh, at the stage. Um, so great, so right now we've built our stage, we've built our room, um, but these walls uh, wanna have some cross hatching in them. Okay, so we're gonna make cross hatching in these walls. So I'm gonna highlight them. And by the way, they're on the wrong layer. So let's put them on the floor layer. All right, which is what we should have been drafting them to begin with. And instead of solid up here in the attributes panel, um, we're going to hit a hatch, and that is a really funky hatch, but we're going to find one that's um, better. Let's use a brick hatch. Hatching's really tight. There we go, that's a better hatch for that. No, it's a terrible hatch. So right now what you wanna do is find one that works well. Reinforced concrete. That seems kind of cool. You have a couple different options um, for your uh, building um, that we're that we're making here. Um, for doors and stuff, we'll get into that uh, a little bit later. But for right now, that's a good start. Um, so the next thing we're going to assume is that our audience is going to be in this box here. Okay, so this is our audience. And again, I'm going to go from side of the room to side of the room. Oh, meant to do that with the line tool. Side of the room to side of the room with the line. Um, and we're going to just line this up nice and clean. This is our audience area. And again, we want to make sure this is on the floor level. OK. Great, so this is where our audience is, and we're going to assume, I'm gonna take um, this mark here and here. It's going to be our extreme sight lines, okay? So we're gonna make some masking. Uh, we're gonna do some hard masking along the sides here. Okay, so we're gonna take our rectangle tool and just do Masking that goes 13 feet, uh, minus 13 feet, and is one foot thick. So there's our masking there. Um, and of course, the next question you'll be asking yourself is, well, where do we want to put the next set of masking? First, I'm going to take this, I'm going to make it a grayed out attribute there, a little bit of masking for us. Pretty extreme sight lines. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the, this theater's not well built. Make our sight lines closer to here. Make our sight lines in line with the stage. And there's that sight line. And there's that sight line. Okay.
actually what we're going to do, since this doesn't look like being flush against the stage is going to work uh, very well, we're just going to move this up two feet. Oh, that's just the wrong thing. And I did an X offset. Let's try and see what that does if it's off by that. And I'm actually going to use a different line. I'm going to use the dual line so that I can do this and see what it does. Okay, let's try moving this another two feet. And I think that's going to work for us now. All right, they might see a little bit backstage, but that's what we're going to get. So then this next one, we're going to do duplicate and move. So what I did there was Command D and Command M, and I just keep hitting Command M right about there. Yeah, that person's going to get a little bit backstage, but not too, too much. Uh, oh, and I want to do it actually from this point, draw into the sight line. Oh, I didn't mean to duplicate that. And same thing, we're just going to move this. I did that four feet. And that one actually works going to there. And now what's really great is now that I've done one side, I can actually take this. And go down the other side. So now we have masking on each side of our stage. Okay, now that I have uh, my positions, I'm going to just do a line inside of each of these. Oop, get our line tool back. There, 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 and actually I can mirror these as well. So I'm just going to do this side. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of the boxes that I used to help find the sight lines. And I'm going to give these fullness like soft masking. Um, so for that, we can go to line type these and we can pick a line type I'm going to choose the sine wave because that's a nice clear designation it's probably really full for scenic masking but that's what we're gonna do for right now and we could do the same process with these there we go and then we can do a line along the back of the stage that we will give the same line type to. And that will be our back curtain. So we now have the masking along the sides, which fits within our sight line uh, requirements. We have all that. The next thing we're going to do um, is put the set in. Uh, we're going to do that on the next slide. These, though, we're going to make sure these are in the right layer because I keep forgetting to put these in the right layer. Uh, we're going to put these in the floor layer since it's around. And then I just need to scoot. Oh. Um, uh, let's move this back a little bit. There we go. More. I'll scoot these to just make it a little nicer of a spot there. Okay. This is where we're putting our masking. We're going to put this on the floor layer. Um, and I think actually for this, we're going to make a masking class. So we'll put all this into a new class called masking. 
And then we're gonna take the walls. And we're gonna put that into a new class called, you guessed it, walls. So now I have our couple of classes that we have. Um, great, and so this, this is gonna be our, our setup for um, the next thing, uh, I am going to extend this, um, what was it here, is it 40, let's say 42, so that we don't have, so that we have, you know, nice cements overlap. There we go. So now we have our nice uh, maskings along the side. We're not going to do any uh, borders or things like that. Uh, right now, just to make things easier, um, but we will uh, be adding a basic uh, set into this uh, in the next video.